Hello again. We're going to act a melodrama this evening. And I want you to take part as the audience. And you know, a melodrama is a sensational and sentimental play. And in it, you always have a villain, and he's very bad, and a hero who is always very good. And when the, the villain comes on the screen, you have to go boom. Now, I think we might practice that. When this villain comes on the screen now, go on, say boo. And uh, when, when the hero comes on, then you must all shout hooray. This is the voice, the voice of the Northern Union, the one and only television network. Latest news. Evil culture strikes again. This is a threat. We don't accept this threat. The fundamental Christian Islamic coalition decides to build a worldwide protection wall. A great big hello to each of you joining us here today on The Voice from anywhere in the world. Do stay by with us, but right now, today's message. Engineers are constructing the largest wall in the world. The Northern Union border has to be seen to be believed. Almost 160, 500 kilometers of border so much more than just a wall. Hammers, barbed wire, fiber optic lines, security fence, metal railings. The Northern Union border is all some wonder of the world. To protect ourselves from the villains. Culture is all around us. Culture and alien poison. Culture is all around us. Keep culture out of your house. Fight back. With that in mind, pull up a chair and spend some quality time with us. This is The Voice with today's broadcast, The Dangers of Strangers. Well, hello everybody. Someone wants to know, what is culture war? Well, what's the best way to define what culture wars are? We're in a war against the evil culture. Now, what is evil culture? What do they seek to do? They seek to tear down the fabric of the religious, family, home. Culture wars. The list of enemies is long and grows longer. What is it we're fighting? We're talking about rock and roll voodoo. Adultery. Transcendental meditation. Heresies. Sexual perversion. Fornication. Blasphemy. Uncleanness. The occult. Witchcraft. Paganism. New Age. False religions. Satanism. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And we'll be right back. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin from The Voice. This much we know. The villain has many faces. The villain is among us. We have to stay awake. Stay alert. The villain is the others. Here is the latest news. Paganism, false religions, uncleanness, sexual perversion, blasphemy, the occult, fornication, rock and roll voodoo, paganism, false religions, heresies, sexual perversion, rock and roll voodoo, blasphemy. Now who'd want to have anything to do with that? These people, their beliefs and views are not to be accorded uh, the same merit uh, as the things we believe. We believe in civilization. They do not. We believe in business. They do not. We believe in family. They do not. We believe 
believe in morality. They do not. They do not. They do not. They are haters. They are bad folks. They are killers. They are animals. And we will not rest until this evil is driven from our world. I break the curse of idolatry. I call it out, take a breath, and just let it go. I break the curse of disobedience. I break the curses of witchcraft. I call it out right now. I break the curse of all perversions of godlessness, idolatry, witchcraft, sorcery. Come on out, come on out, come on out, come on out. The enemy has to obey the mighty word of God. Check it out. I'll have more information in about 10 minutes, so do stay by with us. But right now, a word from our sponsors. pleasure. Every puff is heartier. More flavor, more taste. For people who really like to smoke. Visit Iraq when you want to meet new friends. The Voice. With a happy weather report. Sunny skies. High and dry. Sunny skies. High and dry. Happy weather. Sometimes suddenly feel angry, depressed, or fearful. It may not be because you have a chemical imbalance. Consider this it may be simply an attack from the enemy. Attention. The national security warning has been issued. Please go inside. some of our closest friends and allies here on earth we cannot wait for the final proof 
the smoking gun. We're afraid. Relax. Don't be afraid. You see, fears itself can be an open door for the enemy. Relax. You do not need to fight this battle. I want you to pay attention to every word I say, to focus on the sound of my voice and to feel the energy, the energy that begins to emerge from deep inside of you to help you to break free of any fear that you may be holding inside of you. As you listen to the sound of my voice, allow my voice to be a way, a method. That's it. Just let go. Slow. Trust me. Again, trust me. There's still time. Welcome to Our World with today's topic. Can there be an end to evil? We know that living in this world means dealing with what philosophers would call the phenomenology of evil. What's right and what is wrong. A struggle between right and wrong. A struggle between good and evil. Let justice roll on like a river. 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 There is evil in the world. Aggressive impulses of an evil empire. They have openly and publicly declared that the only morality they recognize is that which will further their cause. I intend to do everything I can to persuade them of our peaceful intent. They must be made to understand we will never compromise our principles and standards. We will never give away our freedom. Let justice roll on like a river. 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 impulses of an evil empire. They have openly and publicly declared that the only morality they recognize is that which will further their cause. We will oppose it with all our might. We will never compromise our principles and standards. We will never give away our freedom. We will never abandon our belief in God. Alien. 
culture. Alien culture. Alien culture. Alien culture. That's evil. That's the latest news. Do stay by with us, but right now, today's message. A message from outside. So many folks in the world subscribe to the theory of evolution. It is logical and intelligent to believe that we are creatures of an almighty God. We are not freaks of nature. We are not happy accidents in the order of things, but rather we have been designed, we have been designed, we have been designed, we have been designed by a purposeful God who has made us in his own image and has given us the environment which we enjoy as an arena in which to serve him. We have been designed. We have been designed. Culture, often an alien poison, is all around us, attacking both quietly and surreptitiously. How is the man or woman of God able to fight back? How successful would a military unit be if it was sent out with no instruction as what its mission was to be? We can all foresee the disaster that would loom if we sent our military out without proper training and a clear direction for its mission. Stay with us as we continue to examine how God uses his children in the culture wars. of Jesus by his holy angels. He brings our spirits with him, resurrects our bodies, reunites our spirits with our bodies. We return with him to heaven in our glorified bodies where we are judged for our works to determine our degrees of reward. And when that judgment is completed, we participate in a glorious wedding feast to celebrate the union of Jesus and his bride. At the conclusion of the feast, we burst from the heavens with Jesus, returning with him to earth in glory. We witness his victory at Armageddon. We shout hallelujah as he is crowned King of kings and Lord of lords. And we revel as he begins to reign over all the earth from Mount Zion in Jerusalem. At the end of the millennium, we witness the release of Satan to deceive the nations. We see the truly despicable nature of the heart of man as millions rally to Satan in attempt to overthrow the throne of Jesus. But we again shout hallelujah. Again, when we witness God's supernatural destruction of Satan's army and see Satan himself cast into hell, where he will be tormented forever and ever. We will next witness the great white throne judgment when the unrighteous are resurrected to stand before God. We will see perfect holiness and justice in action as every knee shall bow and every tongue confess. 
confess that he is Lord, then the unrighteous will receive their just reward as they are cast into hell. We will then witness the most spectacular fireworks display in all of history. We will be taken to the New Jerusalem, and from there, we will watch as God renovates this earth with fire, burning away all the filth, and we will exist eternally. 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 The voice of the Lord shakes the desert. The voice of the Lord strikes with lightning. The voice of the Lord shakes the desert. The voice of the Lord strikes with lightning. The sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from the sky and the heavenly bodies will be shaken. At that time, the sign of the Son of Man will appear in the sky and all the nations of the earth will mourn. They will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of the sky with power and great glory. And he will send his angels with a loud trumpet call and they will gather his elect from the four winds from one end of the heavens to the other. What's going on? What's occurring? Well, I think we have a guest with us today that's going to shed some light on that. What's going on? The world is facing ultimate destruction. Life as we know it is about to be wiped off the face of the planet. Unless someone steps in at the right place at the right time, history as we know it will come to a screeching halt. It takes someone tough, someone really brave and strong to save us. Who through faith conquered kingdoms and administered justice. It's a powerful action hero who will take on the villains in one-on-one -on -one combat. He is the one that gives us power over the enemy. Of a world-saving superhero. Rescue the world from evil. The world is looking for answers, answers. Mars. Our leader said today, the answer is on Mars. The answer to all our problems is on Mars. The answer to all our problems is on Mars. The answer to all our problems is on Mars. The answer to all our problems is on Mars. We look up and we see the blue sky. Above that, there is the planet. It's a place where I'm going. A genuine place. Three million miles away from this Earth. And one of these days, just as sure as I came here tonight, I'll be taken there too. It is a real place, a place where I'm going. That's my home I'm talking about. That's where I'm going. That's where I'll spend eternity. Hallelujah. Heaven is a genuine place, amen. It's real, thank God. The voice. Manned mission to Mars. The President's mission to Mars. This first ever mission of its kind.
there are known knowns. There are things we know that we know. There are known unknowns. There are things that we now know we don't know. But there are also unknown unknowns. There are things we do not know we don't know. And each year we discover a few more of those unknown unknowns. Thank you.